you don't get involved right now in this election, they're going to be involved in your life for the rest of your freaking life. And if Trump and Roberts and Alito and Gorsuch and Thomas and Leonard Leo and Heritage Foundation, if they get a hold, there will be no government left, there will be no rights left, you'll live under theocracy, you'll end up Christian nationalism. But that's all right, you little fucking 26-year-old. You don't feel like the election's important to me. They're not addressing the issues that I care about. Are you kidding me? Very recently, they gave youngsters the 15 most important issues. Uh, clocking in at number 14 was student debt. You wouldn't know that if you read the fucking press. Number 15 was the issue of Palestine. High on the list was abortion, was interest rates, was housing affordability. You are being insufficiently served by the commentary and to some extent through democratic messaging. My advice to tell these young people to get off your motherfucking ass and go vote, you should vote like your entire future and the entire future of this United States depends on it because quite frankly, it does. And that's not an exaggeration. <laughs> Let's talk about Christy Nome. So Christy Nome wrote in a book that she shot a 14-year-old puppy. She put that in there because this, this will really help with Trump if you shoot a dog. Liar! And it'll really help with the Republican base because if you're not willing to shoot a dog, then you're not willing to shoot a migrant. Wow. We have a lawless, illegitimate Supreme Court. We have a political party that values 14-year-old puppy shooting. Full of shit. Go look at what's going on around you. And by the way, take a whiff. And you know what you'll smell? You'll smell a Giuliani Trump shark. <laughs> take these words to heart and get these goddamn people motivated to vote because they're coming after your country. In a weird way, I had to sort of just free myself up to believe that it was okay to be stupid or dumb. To be a moron. Yeah.